What is up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a little review on what I think is one of the most innovative kayaks on the market for the price range hands down. You ready to get to it? Let's go. So this is my Feel Free Lure 11.5. I'm going to tell you exactly why I chose to go with Feel Free and why I think their designs are so innovative and so creative. So I'm going to start on the bow. So we have the molded in carry handle. There's four of these on this whole kayak. There's one in the front, the two side carry handles, as well as one in the rear. They also have these GoPro mounts, these, flat, these flattened GoPro mounts, so that you can put your GoPros on here without drilling any holes in your kayak or taking up space on your track system. They also put in this awesome bow hatch, this watertight bow hatch with three points of contact so it will not leak. And it's pretty deep as well as going through the whole boat. So you can actually put rods in here and have them go all the way through and it's, it's pretty great for storage. Alright, so next up we have the removable electronic pod. This is one of the main reasons why I bought this kayak. Feel free really thought this one through whenever they came out with this kayak. So, if you can't guess what this is for, this is for a fish finder. So, they made this water tank box for you to be able to put your battery in, as well as storage for your wires here in this opening right here. And then they also added insulation for your wires for your transducer, which is going to be mounted here and it can run up here. The transducer wire goes through this insulation. Fish finder is mounted on here. Wire goes through this insulation. Pretty straightforward and very creative. All right, so next, we have adjustable foot pegs. Yeah, I know it's nothing special, but one thing that they did do is they added like a million points of contact. So if you're short, tall, whatever you are, there's a position for you. Alright, and this is one thing I will say I wish they would have done differently. This track system is different than all other kayaks. With that said, you can't mount just any Scotty rod mount holder or uh, fish finder mount or anything that you want on here. You will if you buy the adapter. So they have the smart track system where Basically, you buy that from Feel Free. You can go on their website. You can get it off. I'm, I don't know. I'm sure you can get it off of Yak Attack or Austin Kayak, something like that. But um, you buy it, you put it on here, and then after you buy that, that Smart Track mount fits to any accessory you could ever think of. So, I mean, yeah, that's cool, but they are kind of expensive. That's why I don't have any right now. They're about 30 bucks a piece. I will get some eventually, but this kayak has so many other features. I don't need to worry about it right now. All right. So, like I was saying earlier, Here's some alternate inside handle. Also has the bungee to hold your paddle in place, which another thing that I like about it is it has this lip right here, which for your paddle, which I'll go ahead and grab one. This lip can pretty much hold your paddle in place without having to put that bungee on. So if you just want to set it down, if you catch a fish, or if you're just wanting to sit down for a second, you don't actually have to bungee it down. But of course, if you're in rougher waters, I'd bungee it down. But other than that, this thing holds pretty good. So now we have another feature of this kayak that I love, the reinforced standing platform. So this is a very high grade foam that just feels good whenever you stand on it. It's really good for your back, relieves the pressure on your feet. Um, and it also has little cutouts for your um, your scupper plugs and drains water pretty well. It also, whenever water comes in, has these little cutouts right here 
for the water to go through and go underneath this mat rather than sitting right on top. So again, they're thinking things through. Feel free, thought of everything, and I appreciate it. All right, so now, if you have heard of this kayak, I'm going to tell you exactly why you heard of it, and I know you know why you heard of it. It's this seat. This is by, by far, hands down, the best seat on the market for kayaks. It's, I mean, this thing is basically a computer chair on a kayak. As you can see, it's flush with the kayak right now, which is great for paddling, getting out there, fishing. But, when it, I don't know if you're like me, whenever you get into a spot, you want to be as comfortable as possible, and you want to be able to see those fish, especially if you're a sight fisherman. Lift it up. has 10 points of contact. You're able to lock in any of those 10 points to where you feel comfortable. And, man, it's just sick. It has these side pockets, these pretty big side pockets. Um, and then whenever you lift it up this high as well, it's so easy to stand up. This kayak is so stable. So, so, so stable. I can stand up. I can move around. I can turn around. I can basically do whatever I want in this kayak. And that comes from it being three feet wide. I don't know if you could tell from the video, but this thing... I mean, this thing is why, and also I'm going to show you another reason why it's so stable here in a little bit. All right, and then lifted it up easy, put it down easy. All right, so sadly, there is another feature of this kayak that I don't really like, but it's not really a big deal. I know whatever you see, you're going to be like, who cares? Yeah, I'm there with you, but I'm going to tell you the things that I like about this kayak as well as the things that I don't like so much. And that would have to be this cup holder. I mean, what the heck is it? It's a half circle. What do you think that can actually hold? Hey, Bray, you want to hand me a water bottle real quick? Okay, cool. It stands in there. Guess what? It falls. I mean, I don't understand what they were thinking when they made a cup holder. So, I mean, if you're a coffee man in the morning, I am. So it's a little hard to bring a cup of coffee. I might have to figure something out, but again, if that's the most of my worries about a kayak, I ain't worried. All right, and now to the molded in rod holders. So, the molded in rod holders are great. They're deep enough for any of my poles, and they're actually not too wide, so my pole's not sitting there going back and forth, which is great. They also came in with some rod leashes. I don't really use them. I understand why people use them, um, but I'm not worried about tipping this kayak or anything. So therefore, I'm not worried about using them. Um, now, this is another feature I think, feel free, thought of, that is awesome and great. Um, so in the stern well, they put these straps that are made to put a milk crate. Because I know all kayak fishermen are going to have some sort of milk crate. Um, a, a black, what is it called? Black pack, I think, or something from, uh, from Yak Attack or Yak Gear, wherever it is. Um, but this will hold that in place, and it's, it's great. Um, this is my little, that was a GoPro mount, um, this is my milk crate I created, um, uh, nothing too special, but you want to see how I made it, I can, I can definitely make another one, make a video about it, so y'all let, let us know in the, com on in the comments below. Alright, <clears throat> moving back, so we got some more track systems. This one I think is pretty cool, they come in with these, these bungees that are already on the kayak, um, which are great for several different things. If you want to bring in camping gear or um, another cooler, I mean, these things stretch out pretty good. You just put them on top of a cooler if you put one back here. And then they also slide. And they came with uh, extra clips as well because, I mean, they are plastic. They're, they may break if you do something, you know. Um, and then, moving back. Yeah, they have a handle that's drilled into the kayak. But I'm going to tell you why. They thought of something else which is great so feel free if you're not familiar with them they have a lot of accessories that are made specifically for all their kayaks and then the Mokin and the lure they have a rudder system that they make specifically for it and these kayaks already have all the holes pre-drilled the conduit going through it for the lines and everything already completely built in so if you can come back here Brett I'm gonna show them so there's a hole there's a funky little hole right here and that is for the rudder to sit on. And then the bolt goes through, it clips in. And then the reason they have this handle right here, whenever you have a rudder on here, you can't hold this handle anymore. So they put this on here, which, again, they're thinking it through. So therefore, you don't have to drill any holes in this kayak. And then also, 
little conduits right here. This is where those lines are going to go through the, for the rudder. And it's going to run through, go up, and I'm going to show you where it comes out. So it's going through, coming out right here. Now I know it's a weird spot, but you're not controlling this with your hands. So this line's going to come through here, and it's going to mount down on the foot pegs. So these two rounded things, and there's clips that go on here that's going to clip the steering for this rudder. And you just push it with your feet, and that's how you're going to steer this rudder. All right. So for the top part of this kayak, last and not, but not least, you know, you got the drain plug. Every kayak comes with a drain plug. It's a basic old screw in. So I think it's an actually, actually a pretty good location. All you got to do is tip your kayak up, kind of catty, catty corner it, and drain it. That's all it takes. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how easy it is to take this seat out. And then I'm going to flip the kayak over. I'm going to show you what this thing has to offer on the bottom of it. Yeah, you probably don't think there's much, but I'm going to show you something really special. All right, so all you got to do, you unclip it on both sides. And Fred, if you can come back here. See if you can get these. So they have these little screw knobs in here, right here. You just unscrew it. On each side, flip out the metal clip. Seat comes out. I can put it next to a fire if I go camping. And relax, because this thing is comfortable. All right, now we're gonna flip it over. I said I'm gonna show you why this kayak is so stable. So not only is it three feet wide, like I said before, we had this tri-hole system. So the tri-hole system, basically, what this is mimicking is a pontoon boat. So you have the middle, which is this flat surface, which already gives you some good buoyancy, has these rips right in between it, just these two little channels. And then on each side, you got a bigger, a little bit higher than that center point, which is acting as a pontoon, like I said. And these two pontoons right here is what's keeping you from rolling because this kayak is supposed to be almost impossible to roll. It's supposed to have some an anti-roll technology, which is coming from these pontoon-like structures right here. And then also, down here at the very nose of the kayak, that point right there actually really helps this, this kayak stay pretty straight. Um, whenever the wind blows, yeah, you get pushed around a little bit. I, I, I will tell you that. Um, you know, a lot of people, if you look at reviews, are going to say this thing tracks terribly. It does not track terribly. It does not track as good as a kayak that's supposed to track great. But for the, a three foot long or a three foot wide kayak and eleven foot long um, kayak at that, it's it tracks great for the size. So another thing people say is that this thing is not sturdy or not uh, stable whenever you have the seat all the way up. It is. I, I can paddle in it all day long, but it's not as stable as if you put the seat all the way down. But I don't understand why people are saying they tip whenever they have the seat all the way up. I don't, I don't buy it. All right. So moving back. This is what I was telling y'all makes this kayak so special. It has this wheel in the keel. It's pretty awesome. So you do not have to go buy or make some wheels for your kayak to be able to pull it anywhere. It's already built in. I can roll this thing wherever I want by myself because this kayak is a little heavy. It weighs about 75 pounds. So this makes everything a lot easier. And this isn't just on this kayak. This is on most of the Feel Freeze kayaks. They have this built-in wheel on the keel. That's what they call it. Pretty, uh, pretty cool name. Wheel on the keel. All right. And uh, that just about does it for this kayak. Um, but I will say... I did so much research before I bought this kayak, and 
I think this one offers the most features and the best quality for the price range. You're looking at around $1,300, this kayak, unless you can get it on sale. But um, all the features this thing has for $1,300 is completely 